getting to capacitors. So cuts, very common. And once you see these images, you start seeing them being familiar. You've seen them in most of the electronic products. And maybe you might want to know why are they used? The cups are used to store some electric charge temporarily. And then you may ask yourself why? This is to boost or compensate for some more power demands that are needed by some of our ICs that we use in our designs. So from time to time, you'll find almost every other PCB you hold on your hand it has, it has a capacitor. So the cup is used actually to act like a bridge or a bypass so that it can supply some power during some, some points when the demand is high and our power supply cannot meet the demands. So they also do come in two types of packages. We have THT and SMT. Well, we also have several types of cups depending on the type of use. For example, we have ceramic, we have electrolytic and we have tantalum. So again, we'll dive deeper on, on when to use each when uh, we'll do that later. For now, you just have to have an overview of like cups do exist, why are they used? The capacity of cups, which is called capacitance, is measured in a unit known as farads, but mostly you find us using microfarads. So I've given some, some, some good examples here on where we use cups and like practical examples, like these are designs that I have with me here. So I just took shots on and indicated where cups are, the types, like here we have, we have ceramic cups, we have electrolytic cups, these are all SMT. On this other side, we have we have THT cups. Now when you see this, they become more familiar and we have some SMT cups that are also of different types. These are electrolytic cups. Also give some few pointers here in regards to, in regards to capacitors. You have to know that unlike resistors, capacitors are polarized. They have positive and negative. So you have to be keen. And one easy way to identify them is that the longer leg is usually the positive one. Like you can see here, we have longer and shorter. The longer one is always the positive and the shorter one is always the negative. We have other some few pointers here that caps do not allow DC current to flow through them, but they do allow AC. Reference designator for this in PCBs is a C. So when you see a C in any of your PCBs, or what people call motherboards, that's a capacitor.